Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a winter special dosha recipe which is a healthy and nutrient dense breakfast for the whole family. Bajra also known as pearl millet is one of the oldest millets and is high in dietary fiber. It's ideal to include in diabetic diet as it delays the absorption of glucose into the bloodstream. It is rich in antioxidants high in vitamin B content and rich in nutrients like phosphorus, iron and magnesium. Bajra or pearl millet is gluten free and a great meal option for those with celiac disease. It is high in protein with a good amount of amino acids which helps in strengthening muscles and immune system. Bajra is ideal to include in your diet if you have iron deficiency anemia, diabetes and the high fiber helps to keep you feel fuller for a longer time hence ideal for weight loss the recipe i'm sharing is 100 percent rice free so let's get started with the recipe i'm making this for next day's breakfast hence i'm doing this process by around four in the evening into a bowl i'm adding in one cup of whole bajra also known as pearl millet Add in one third cup whole black urad dal, that is urad dal with the skin. As it has more fiber, I am using black urad dal. However, you can also use plain urad dal instead. Add in half tablespoon methi seeds. Add in some water and rinse it a couple of times and then let it soak for at least one hour. Two hours would be ideal and after two hours this is how it looks also note that if you are using bajra which you have locally sourced there may be sand or small stone particles so make sure you remove them before grinding i also like to rinse the soaked bajra again before grinding now i'm not using rice or rice flakes in this recipe so for easy fermentation i'm using bajra flakes also known as kamb avel or poha. I am soaking 1 fourth cup of bajra flakes for about 10 minutes and after 10 minutes add the rinsed and soaked bajra methi and urad dal into the mixer grinder along with the soaked bajra flakes. Add in pink Himalayan salt as needed. Now if you are living in a very cold place it would be ideal to add salt the next day after the batter is fermented. Grind all this in the mixi and once ground pour it into a bowl and cover and let it sit overnight to ferment. Note that I am not using a tight lid as we need the wild airborne yeast to help with the fermentation process. And the next day morning the batter is nicely fermented and you can see how airy it is. Did you know that naturally fermented foods like idli and dosha are a good source of vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 plays a crucial role in iron absorption. So those with iron deficiency anemia, PCOS and diabetes will greatly benefit by including these kind of fermented seasonal grains in their diet. You can make idlis and crispy doshas with this batter. To make crispy dosha, heat a cast iron tawa and grease it with gingerly oil. Reduce the flame to the lowest and pour in 1 to 1 and a half ladle full of the dosha batter and spread it out as thinly as possible. Cooking in cast iron helps in better iron absorption. So those with iron deficiency anemia try to cook at least one meal in a cast iron cookware. Drizzle in half teaspoon desi ghee or you can use wood pressed coconut oil if you are on a vegan diet. Healthy fats like desi ghee and unrefined virgin coconut oil helps to assimilate fat soluble vitamins. Flip it over and once roasted well serve to a plate. Enjoy crispy bajra dosha with samba or chutney of your choice. So guys do try this binder special bajra dosha and let me know how it turned out. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with family and friends. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.